What's up everybody? Welcome back to the life you have with Taz. That's, That's me. me. And this is the show where I give you tips, tricks, and pointers on how to improve your life. One step at a time. So today, we're actually going to be talking about some arrow garden hacks that I think might be interesting. Last time, what we did was we actually set up the arrow garden over here. I had the video setting up the arrow garden in New York for indoor planting. You can check that out. But I wanted to quick, give a quick update on the plants from last time and let's you see the benefit to using the arrow garden is, well, you can see for yourself. That's the corn. The two corns have grown up really tall. I actually just put the miracle Grow Arrow Garden stuff in there last night. Yeah, that 25 spinach, this actually popped up like three days ago. So I highly doubt it's gonna do anything. This is the Swiss chard. There's two of them in there. Let's turn back around, shall we? Okay, so last time what I did was I said that you should use what you got. So I came up with some other ways because these are the humidity grow domes right here. And you can't really just get these if you want to. I mean, you can, but it's kind of a waste of money. So what I did was I decided to see what could I do to possibly boost my output. And so I looked on eBay and I got these little condiment caps. You can probably find them at any kind of local wing stand or a barbecue joint. And I paid, uh, 10 for 40 but they also come with lids now this here is my arrow garden ultra okay so as we can see which is a seven uh pie garden so what i was thinking was what if all of these things came together to do something of course you can use little golf balls you can get these at dollar tree to be able to block out the light for when you start adding your nutrients in there it'll grow algae inside of your system so you want to block out as much light as possible now i'm going to try an experiment i'm going to try to use those rapid rooters so rapid rooters are a staple pretty much in the hydroponic community. You, when you look at uh, some of the things that are constant that people are like to mention, you will get the two, which is rock wool and rooters. All right, let me show you what that is. Okay. So these are rapid rooters. They're made of like composted tree bark and some soils and stuff. Anyway, and it, it has a pretty neutral smell, smells pretty good. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant these directly into the arrow garden yes you heard right we're gonna put this here straight into the arrow garden and we're gonna see what happens now I'm gonna put something in there that I know can quickly grow and we'll test it now for our controls is actually gonna be that I'm gonna I'm gonna put one normal uh, regular arrow garden sponge a normal one we're gonna put one in the corner of this ultra and every other one is gonna be this I'm in a room that's kind of moisture controlled. We're going to see what this is. So I'm going to take you guys away and then I'll come back when it's time to start planting. All right, guys. So I came back. <laughs> I had to go looking for this. The seed choice that we're going to do with today is actually this here. It's a fairy morse uh, lettuce gourmet blend. Uh, apparently there's Ruby, Tango, Lola Rosa and uh, black seeded samson i don't even know <laughs> when this stuff is actually going to spell if you can check this out here so we're just gonna this is experiment time now i'm gonna bring you guys in and we're gonna actually plant this all together okay so we can actually see everything here so we're not gonna add any nutrients to this you can as you can hear the pump has actually just started now, what I was trying to tell you guys is, I can't see it from there. All right, so the golf ball that I just moved, you can see rushing water coming through right there. They all have a little slot like that. So now I'm gonna start doing this stuff. These already come kind of moist, not wet, just, just moist. And so I'm gonna pop my seeds in there, two seeds per this and then two seeds per the arrow garden one that comes with the systems 
and then I'm gonna drop this in a cage. It's in a cage, and we will see what's up. Okay, so now we're just going to pop this in like so. Just trying to get that as flush as possible. I prepared a backup remedy of uh, one tablespoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide, and uh, that will be mixed in a cup of water, and that'll be our antibacterial spray in case things go awry, which I'm kind of planning that they will. And now uh, I know they say don't plant all the holes, but this is an experiment. If it works out, we'll just thin them out. And it doesn't work. Okay, so that actually was too much. Okay, so apparently this has a built-in system in it where if you try to do that, you will cause a backlog. So we're gonna make a double humidity area. So as you can see, that's all we're doing. So we're putting down these condiment caps. And this is the infamous scoop from the last video. That's just gonna go over just like that. So now we have everything actually covered up. So I'll be updating you guys throughout this process. Okay, so I saw somebody do this with a bounty. I'm trying to see if I can duplicate those results. So I wanna know, can I use this in its own system? Now I know that theoretically I can just do this. You know, go ahead and push down the uh, rapid router into here and then cut this whole thing and just plug it into there. But as we see, it's built in with the safe where the water will actually start to flood if all of them are actually plugged at one time. So we're going to be watching that. We did pick lettuce. This is going to be an interesting experiment. Today is also March the 28th. That's a good starting point. But anyway. We'll catch y'all later.